If you're a TypeScript user, you've probably already stumbled upon this issue where it seems like you're doing everything right and you're passing the right type of a value, but it's still complain. Let's take a look. Here we have a function called handle request and one of its parameters is method and it can be a get string like this or it can be a post string, right? Everything's fine. And here we have an object called rec, stands for request, that we are going to pass as an argument to handle request. And here we are passing uh, reg.method because method is basically a get string, right? Should be fine. But when we hover over this, we see that there is an issue. So it says argument of type string is not assignable to parameter of type get or post. But what does it mean? Because these are also strings. Let's take a deeper look. All right, how about we start with a very simple example. Let's declare a variable called changing value. And obviously the value can be changing. And let's say it is hi or hello. And now when we try to change the value of this variable, we can easily do that. Let's change it to hi like this. And now everything seems to be working. But you know, there's a way to make this variable constant by putting a const instead of let, right? And now we say that we are not able to change this value before. But how about I tell you there's another way to do the same thing. So we can put a literal type to a variable like this, hello. And now we get an error saying type hi is not assignable to type hello because the type of the variable above is basically hello and it's not connected to hi anymore. And there's another way to do the same with functions. Let's say declare a function called position uh, text or position text as a, as a verb, and it accepts a parameter called position or pause, and it can be either left, center, or obviously right. So it can kind of accept three different types of values. And these values are literal, meaning they're very specific. What happens if we try to call this function? Let's try to call it like this and TypeScript already suggests that it can only accept three types of values for the position argument. If we type something else, it might not complain, but it's gonna throw an error in the future when you try to infer this type. But again, as you hover over, it's gonna tell you that it only accepts three values. We can also extend these three literal types, for example, with an interface. Let's declare a new interface. Let's call it extra pause. And this interface is going to have one key called above. And it's also going to be, let's say, a string, right? And now we can extend our parameters with this interface like this. And now when we hover over position text, it's going to tell us that it can also accept um, an argument or a value for extra post. But it's not only about strings, it can also be a number, right? Let's say minus one, it can also be a zero or simply one. And now when you hover over it again, we can see that these three values can be the numbers. And again, it's not only about parameters, but also the return values. Let's say we can only return 10 or 20, right? And now obviously it says we have a void returning inside the function. So let's change it. Let's put a return statement and let's return 20. Again, not 22 or any other value, 20 or 10. And this is how literal types work. And another quick example before we jump into our solution for the main problem is, let's imagine we have an object called obj and it has a parameter or property called name and let's call it John. Later, what we're gonna do is that we have an is if statement, let's say some, some dummy check, let's say two plus three, something basic and something that doesn't really matter for our example. And inside the if statement, let's say we're changing the name based on the some condition. And when I type name, we can see that TypeScript automatically infers that the name is a string. And it does it because inside the object, it also does the same. So John is a string, and it can be dynamic. It can be changed at any point of time. Let's say it's Gus now. And this leads to our solution that we have for our main problem, right? Let me paste it here. So what I have here is that the method property, it's basically a literal type as we saw before, as we saw here. 
in the function properties, right? So it can be either a post or get and no other string. So only these two values. But when we hover over this issue, our method, we see that method is only a string. So it's not a particular literal type, right? So get has to be exactly as this here. It has to be a literal type. So how do we convert it to a literal type? We can see that we can say that get is as get. So now when I hover over it, I'm going to see that, well, and here, here method get. So it's not just a string. It's a, it's a get literal type. And we can also do the same here when we're calling the function. So we can say as get, but I don't really like this approach. It looks kind of dirty, but there's a better way to do it. How about we simply put as const after the object? And now, when I hover over this const, we can see that it automatically creates a type under the hood, which is also read only because it's a constant and it assigns a specific literal type to our get method. And we no longer have an issue. There's no issue because these two types are literal. They can't be any other string. Those are only get or posts. Hey there, it's me again. I just wanted to quickly say thank you very much for watching this video and smashing the like button. And if you want to stay up to date with such cool topics, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss whenever a new video is out. And I'm going to see you in the next one.